Death of a Pasadena baby burned by hot water. Investigators just entered the family's home with a search warrant about an hour ago. They have a lot of questions for the boy's parents, especially because of their past. Drew Caritas is live outside that home with new details. Drew? Well, sure, men. Police who have been stalled quite a bit out here in their investigation want to believe that this baby's death was just a terrible accident. But we're told from the get go his parents have not been cooperating. Police were alerted to this home not by a family member, but by Bayshore Hospital, saying that a 10 month old boy had been burned by scalding water. Thought of a child because I'm a teacher and uh, I love kids. And I just think it, it's just absolutely terrible. Neighbors initially felt for this family's loss, but the information that came in the following hours had them pointing fingers. This should have never happened. I think somebody ought to pay for what happened, okay? I think they ought to be locked up in jail. Police say the family drove the boy to the hospital and did not call 911 after he suffered burns to over half his body. Being a mother of two and, and knowing what you'd do to try to protect one. And then, a, and then a child being hurt like that is just horrible. Investigators confirm that CPS is familiar with the parents who are in their early 20s. The baby's maternal grandparents tell us that the little boy was taken away by CPS last August and just recently returned to this home. It's very heartbreaking and that the system can't help an infant that can't speak for itself. Police were hoping that the parents would have an explanation for what happened, but instead investigators tell us they immediately retained an attorney and refused to speak. Yeah, I think that's real disgusting because the little baby was innocent of all sins, never did anything in the whole world. Without any verbal statements, detectives are in search of physical evidence that can potentially prove what led to this baby's death. And the real investigation is just getting started out here. Pasadena police waited nearly six hours to get a search warrant signed off on. We did call CPS about this family. We're told they will likely have more information for us sometime tomorrow. For now, that's the latest live here in Pasadena. Drew Caritas, KHOU 11 News.